Kate Middleton stole the show in a glorious Alice Temperley gown, reveals secret for her slim figure. Along with Prince William, Kate Middleton, the Duchess of Cambridge, headed to South Asia for a week-long visit to India and Bhutan. As far as the trip goes, the royal couple has already been seen soaking up the sights and sounds of the region. While doing so, the well-dressed duchess echoes the sensibilities of two rich cultures through her wardrobe choices by masterfully playing with a mix of prints and patterns. To be specific, we can't imagine an outfit more fitting than Kate Middleton's for a garden party in India. For a celebration of the Queen's 90th birthday, the Duchess stepped out in an Alice Temperley look that consists of a crop top and skirt. Temperley London described the embroidery on the two Delphia pieces as opulent motifs on Indian chintz and lattice, making the garments a carefully considered choice for the princess. The regal two-piece Delphia set is stitched in black with swirling motifs of Indian chintz, and at first glimpse, gives off the illusion of a maxi showed off the Duchess of Cambridge's tiny waistline. But Kate pulled out all the lovely style stops, accenting her embroidery with chandelier earrings covered in black jewels and a delicate satin clutch. Pairing the look with a half-updo and strappy sandals, the royal proved that crop tops can be downright sophisticated and glamorous. To complete the look, she tied back her hair to let the intricacies of her design stand out. The royal couple were attending a tea party in honor of the Queen's 90th birthday in New Delhi today when a fellow guest couldn't resist asking how she'd get back into shape after having George and Charlotte. According to university professor, he asked Catherine, how do you lose all the weight after having two kids? To which the Duchess replied, I'm running after my kids. The academic who teaches political science at Jamia Millia Islamia University also asked her how she kept cheery through all the engagements. I asked her, Aren't you tired of smiling? And she said, I'm just reciprocating. Everyone is so warm. They were both really gracious. She was so welcoming and warm. We told her, you look much better in person than your photographs. Kind of a mean thing to say. Her husband, Prince William, also looked dapper for the occasion in a blue tailored suit paired with a red tie. Hundreds of guests were in attendance at the High Commissioner's residence in New Delhi to celebrate the Queen's birthday. Prince William addressed the crowd with a moving message about his beloved grandmother, calling her a remarkably energetic and dedicated guiding force for her family, adding that he was so glad that his children are able to get to know their Gangan. Giving a speech at the event honoring Elizabeth, he said, I am incredibly lucky to have my grandmother in my life. As she turns 90, she is a remarkably energetic and dedicated guiding force for her family. William and Kate helped cut an oversized birthday cake with a very large knife and a cavalry saber. A comment from Kate and Zena explains, In the military, it's traditional for a soldier to cut the first piece of cake with his wife with his saber. This doesn't look like William's saber. It looks more like a vintage Indian saber. Vinu Nair, MD of Marks and Spencer in India, added, The Duchess was really interested to hear about Marks and Spencer here in India and our 53 stores. She was asking about our operations here and how they differed from the UK. I would never have dared ask her where her dress was from. Deba Thomas Sutcliffe, VP and Head of Communications, Nissan, and married to Paul Sutcliffe from British High Commission, who was just relocated from Mumbai, was one of the first the Duchess Cambridge spoke to tonight. I told the Duchess I had been a huge royal fan my whole life and I adored Princess Diana. I was five years old when she married, she said.